Pictures at a Revolution, Five Movies and the Birth of the New Hollywood by Mark Harris is a captivating exploration of a pivotal moment in the history of American cinema. Through meticulous research and engaging storytelling, Harris delves deep into the transformative years of the 1960s when the film industry underwent a radical shift, giving birth to what we now know as the New Hollywood Era. Harris paints a vivid picture of the cultural and cinematic landscape of the time, setting the stage for the reader to understand the significance of the five films he chooses to focus on, The Graduate, Bonnie and Clyde, In the Heat of the Night, Guess Who's Coming to Dinner, and Dr. Doolittle. These films, released between 1966 and 1967, represent a turning point in American cinema, challenging the traditional studio system and ushering in a new era of artistic freedom and experimentation. One of the book's strengths is its meticulous research. Harris leaves no stone unturned in his quest to provide a comprehensive account of the making and impact of these five films. He conducts extensive interviews with key players in the industry, including directors, actors, producers, and studio executives, shedding light on the behind-the-scenes drama and decision-making processes that shape these movies. This wealth of insider information adds depth to the narrative and provides valuable insights into the challenges and triumphs of making groundbreaking films. Harris skillfully weaves together the stories of these five movies, revealing the common threads that connect them while also highlighting their unique contributions to the new Hollywood movement. Through his narrative, we see how these films challenged societal norms, tackled taboo subjects, and reflected the changing attitudes and values of the 1960s. Whether it's The Graduate challenging conventional notions of romance and rebellion or Bonnie and Clyde redefining the portrayal of violence on screen, each film played a crucial role in pushing the boundaries of what was acceptable in cinema. The book also offers a fascinating glimpse into the personalities and creative minds behind these films. Harris delves into the motivations and artistic visions of directors like Mike Nichols, Arthur Penn, and Norman Jewison, as well as the groundbreaking performances of actors like Dustin Hoffman and Sidney Poitier. By humanizing these iconic figures and providing a nuanced understanding of their creative processes, Harris makes the reader feel intimately connected to the making of these films. One of the central themes of the book is the clash between the old guard of the studio system and the emerging talents of the new Hollywood. Harris skillfully depicts the tension between established studio executives who were resistant to change and the visionary filmmakers who sought to break free from the constraints of the past. This struggle for creative control and the battle for the hearts and minds of the audience form a compelling narrative arc that runs throughout the book. Moreover, Pictures at a Revolution offers valuable insights into the socio-political backdrop of the 1960s. Harris discusses how these films engaged with issues such as race, gender, and generational conflict, making them not only cinematic landmarks but also important cultural artifacts of their time. The book highlights the significance of In the Heat of the Night and Guess Who's Coming to Dinner, in addressing racial tensions and the civil rights movement, illustrating how cinema can serve as a reflection of and catalyst for social change. In conclusion, Mark Harris's Pictures at a Revolution is a masterful work of film history and cultural analysis. It provides a comprehensive and engaging account of a transformative period in American cinema, offering a behind-the-scenes look at the making of five iconic films and their lasting impact on the industry. Harris's meticulous research, insightful storytelling, and deep understanding of the era make this book a must-read for anyone interested in the history of film and the cultural dynamics of the 1960s. It stands as a testament to the power of cinema to shape and reflect the world around us, making it a timeless and relevant work for cinephiles and scholars alike.